started our drilling program and we halted the operation to actually enable the measurements of the ground EM, right? So the ground EM measurements around all has been taken and it's completed at this stage. That enables us to uh, bring in a drill rig and start drilling, which we have you know, a number of uh, uh, targets left from last uh, downhole the EM program and also a new 29 um, plates that were identified in the initial stage of the Samsung EM program. Those new 29 conductors that we actually found, we forming it basically into three different, uh, three, four areas, right? And it's a north area and the oval area and then west and south probably based on the locations of the targets, really brand new zones are new areas that we uh, incorporated into our attention is uh, south zone uh, and then western area. So that's the direction we're gonna uh, put our uh, work to identify and understand that more. And then of course we have plenty of targets now in north area, in some, you know, some of the plates, especially in north oval area are you know, more than we anticipated. So it's a very exciting time for us to verify those uh, plates with drill testing. It's a very important because EM measurements can be taken with many different configurations, right? It's uh, loop sizes, and transmitter configuration etc so it's it's important that you know really trying to find out exactly what is working for this regional ground uh, and on the way to integrate that modeling and test that is actually through drilling and with based on the, those integration and validation of these methods it is very important that actually we based on those ones we can actually design broader regional expression, maybe in an into next year, right? So using EM and working with different areas. So it's it's very important at this stage. And also uh, based on our past results that we actually achieved with uh, downhole EM measurement from our drill holes and, and then drilling and testing and confirming the master sulfides in those areas, we have pretty, you know, uh, decent success rate there. So it's uh, very important for us to have this EM targets because that adds the confidence in our project and brings us uh, new areas that we can actually focus on in next stage of drilling. In next stage of drilling, of course, we will integrate some of the original aspects into our drilling program as always. MS1, we had very encouraging and exciting results from our drill hole in last round. That area is, is buried, but it's a significantly, potentially a larger area of um, geophysical anomalies in that, in that part. So that's something we have to tackle uh, with our geophysics and of course with our drilling program. MS2 is, is um, you know, detailed geophysics, uh, detailed magnetics, uh, magnetic, ground magnetics data is uh, acquired already. So we are waiting for the processing and then we extended the EM work onto MS2. So it's, you know, very exciting, of course, uh, for regional targets too. So we will drill into some of these uh, regional targets also in next stage of drilling. Drilling program uh, underway, and uh, that's one of the aspects of this year's expression strategy is to ev evaluate the overall total mineral system, how large that system is, and where the mineralizations are. So that's the direction we're trying to answer. And part of the job physics and the drilling program is really to provide that information to the investors. So in a short time, we have a, in a very uh, busy period coming. So we're gonna have, a, um, you know, so we're gonna finish the our EM survey. So we uh, updates from our uh, EM surveys are expected, and the commencement of the drilling is starting. So, and on top of that, our metallurgy test is probably getting closer to the end. So, so we have plenty of news coming over the next one or two months.
very busy period, very exciting, uh, as usual for Greenfield Expression, where we are, you know, really expanding from our initial discovery and trying to prove that this is potentially a camp scale opportunity for the investors.